Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kirsten Lee Belt. Come on in for just a second. How is everybody doing tonight? So it's Wednesday, halfway through the week. That's a good night to like recalibrate. Let's recalibrate. Okay, so it's really interesting because you know when I when I chat with people behind the scenes, like in my DMs and stuff, and um you know, there's, there are, there are always these ebbs and flows of conversation that take place. And recently I have been just fielding conversations. I just am chatting with somebody like right now. Well, I mean, I was before I jumped on talking about, um, she was just asking me about menopause and I thought, you know, it's been a while since I've actually addressed that. And last on Sunday, when we were talking, we were talking about brain fog and the connection with insulin resistance because of hormones and insulin is a hormone. And so I thought, you know what, there's just enough conversation, enough chatter in my feed to talk about why there is this connection and like how this can maybe help you because so many of the exact same tips apply. So many of the exact same things apply. Now you have to understand that I am like an accidental figure outer. I wonder if that should be an official term. I'm an accidental figure outer. And so what, you know, my entire journey has been something works for me and I go, what? Like, why did that work? And then I reverse engineer why it worked. Like I study it because I want to know, hey, Chris, good to see you. And so I just, that's kind of how this has gone. But you know what? It has led me down some really cool paths and, um, helped other people get some really freaking amazing results when it comes to very simple things. Now I understand that everybody has to have their own journey. Everybody has to have their own. I should probably move my, my microphone over a little bit here just to make sure, just to make sure um, everybody has, you know, everybody has many different factors to everything that they're doing. So um, I always tell people, so, you know, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kirsten Liebelt and um, basically my life was impacted by uh, growing up with a type two dad who was insulin dependent. And then he had a lot of medical issues. And so I talk a lot about insulin resistance. Like that's my main topic. However, before I started talking about insulin resistance, um, a few years ago now, I did a lot of content around menopause because that was the, it's the same coin. So if you have one coin on one side of the coin is menopause is menopause with all of the hormonal imbalances. And on the other side of the coin over here is insulin resistance, even though they're really both on the same team, but in conversation with people, because most people don't know that that insulin is a hormone. So you end up having two separate conversations, even though so much of it all overlaps with each other. So I thought, okay, let's just do a little chat about insulin resistance and menopause. And I'll just tell my personal story and maybe it'll help somebody. And you never know. So that's how I'm doing that. Chris, you just received your products today. I'm so excited for you. That's very, very good. Hey, Christy, good to see you. Oh, the fun times. Yes. I don't know why in Instagram does that, but okay. So anyway, um, but anyway, so uh, hi, Carol. Oh my gosh, all of my people are here. All of my friends. Good to see you, Carol. Um, so when I was in my 40s, and I talked about this just a little bit, maybe on Sunday, and I was talking about how I just had really bad brain fog. And I had no zero idea that this was connected to hormones. Like, why would I even think that much less that they were connected to um, insulin resistance and or just any other hormones. And I think that what women, it would be so beneficial for you guys, if you understood that it if you believe that you are insulin resistant, this is potentially why, let's see if I can move that a little bit so that we can, there we go. This is potentially why then maybe the other hormones are having a hard time because it impacts your other hormones. So I knew none of this. So my brain fog is really bad. I'm having a hard time multitasking. Um, it really does make you question yourself. It's a very vulnerable state, I believe. You can tell me yourself in the comments if you feel like you've had those moments where you have felt like, um, you know, the common question is what's wrong with me. But also, too, maybe you have those feelings of I um, I don't want anybody to know how hard it is for me to multitask right now. Like, 
is this just me getting old? Is this, you know, like, what is this? And it's very frustrating. Who am I? Christy says, yep. Who am I? Well, or where did she go? Has anybody felt that? Where did she go? I have to do it with this hand so Instagram can see. What happened? Like, what's going on? And I feel like, you know, for me, and I and I probably touched on this a little bit, but it's like, you know, I so I homeschooled for 20 years, right? Yeah. So I homeschooled for 20 years. You get done raising your kids, sort of, you know what I mean? Like they start to leave the home. Here you are in your 40s, and this is supposed to be a season of, you know, maybe excitement. Maybe there's, you know, like empty nest and a new season and maybe a different found freedom or whatever. And all of a sudden now here you are with potentially like major brain fog, maybe a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of depression, um, sleepless nights, and maybe you're not, that's you, brain fog and exhausted all the time. Yep, man, I'll tell you. And it just, I don't know, because of the brain fog, I feel like, and well, and the exhaustion, because of that, you, you don't really have the fortitude from inside of you to stand up and tackle something because you're just surviving. If, you, if that's you, let me know. Mandy, hey, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's terrible, Christy says. I know. I know. Totally you, Carol. Yep. Retirement. Yes, right, Chris? Like you're thinking maybe, just maybe, you know, you're going to be able to be in a different season. And I'll, just anyway. So I, I know that it can feel very like maybe like you just don't have what it takes to tackle that. Me. Yep. I see that. Very worrisome. Lori, good to see you. Worrisome is a really good word. And I feel like maybe we, for me, I kind of just kept that worrisomeness inside of me, like in my head. You still have a six-year-old that you're homeschooling. Poor kid. <laughs> yes, but Christy, you are taking the purple packet. <laughs> and so your life is about to get so much better. Well, I'll, I'll explain the purple packet here in just a second. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm telling you, having a six-year-old in your homeschooling, no. That's so funny. That brings me back so many memories. You just have no idea. The memories are flooding into my brain right now. Um, so anyway, um, but I'll, I just, you know, I really just kept a lot of it inside of me because I don't think that I was assessing. I, well, I wasn't, I wasn't assessing. I wasn't processing this. Like, like I said, I didn't even know insulin was a hormone. What am I assessing? What am I processing? Nothing. Like I wasn't taking supplements. I wasn't doing anything. And so then when you are in this cycle, having three grandchildren, woo my third one is almost due, you guys, you guys, my third one is due on Easter Sunday. So I actually just had this conversation last night with my kids. My kids are 35, 32. That's my daughter who's, who's pregnant and then third and 29. And so we were together last night. Um, at first you truly thought something was wrong with your brain. Scary. Yep. I've literally had somebody say to me, I thought I had dementia. That's how worrisome she worried she was. She was that scared. So I'm going to talk to you about some adaptogenic herbs here because they make such a big difference. Um, I know. Oh, thank you, Chris. You're so excited for me. Thank you, Lori. Your third is due in June, Carol. Yay. So my kids said to me, one of my sons said, so mom, what are you going to do if like uh, you're on a live and you get a phone call from Kayla? I said, um, well, see now my, I gave an answer that I actually couldn't do right now, but I was just with her. So she's not going to go in labor, but I said, well, I would answer my phone on the live. I would tell everybody, hold on just a second. It's my daughter. <laughs> I said that I would answer it on the line. And then I would tell everybody I got to go <laughs> if she said it was because of that. So yeah, not yeah. Of course. I'm like, you guys, you know me. I'm out the door. See you later, alligator. I got to go be with my daughter and her baby. Um, so back to conversation. So Chris, oh my gosh, dementia, your mom passed from it. So did mine. One year ago on Sunday, like a couple of days ago, one year ago, March 10th, she passed away and she was 94 and she had dementia for 
We took care of her with dementia for five years. She had it for longer, but we didn't know. And this is why, this is a reason, this is kind of something that really stirs inside of me. This is why I talk about insulin resistance. This is why I do the things that I do because I am just so like we, I walked into, uh, I will Marianne, hold on. I want to read that in just a second. So hold on. Um, I, yeah, what a long life, very long life. We walked into dementia with, again, so I just walk into everything, not knowing anything. Like, I don't know if that's just me, but I'm like, what? We knew nothing. And it is terrible. Dementia is really hard. And um, if we know that there's a connection to insulin resistance, I won't be shutting up anytime soon because this literally has been my life. And so anyway, dementia is awful. Your grandma on your mom's side passed from it. And now your dad's mom in the early stages of it too. It's hard. Yeah, so scared to get it too. Well, Chris, you know what? We can chat about that too a little bit. Your mom did too. So did yours. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is ridiculous. Okay, hold on, Marianne. Please share my thoughts on, uh, okay, hormone replacement therapy to handle the anxiety, high cortisol, and subsequently blood sugar problems. So many gynecologists online are discussing link between needing HRT to prevent diabetes. Ooh, I would love to have that conversation, Marianne. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. Okay, well, let me have that conversation right now then. So, you know, again, I'm just going to say it and then I'll try not to say it again, but I really knew nothing. You know, you would think that I would have known. My dad, I'm... I'm I'm gestational diabetic with my first baby, hypoglycemic with my second baby. I'm 30 years old. My dad is dead. Double insulin shots every day. All of the heart procedures, emergency surgeries, pacemaker, quadruple bypass surgery, emergency angiograms, kidney dialysis, kidney transplant list. After two years of dialysis that is when he dies. I'm 30. My kids are little. I spend my entire next 15 years, decade and a half, doing nothing, which I know doesn't make sense and it doesn't make me look super smart. Oh, that's my computer making noise. That's really funny. Doesn't, doesn't, you know, it's like it wasn't wisdom, but I'm just telling you my story. So there was no reason for me to make all of these connections. Well, now what I understand, and, and for the longest time, once I started, you guys already know all of my, my conversations. I talk about the trio all the time, which are the three supplements that have the three ingredients that help with insulin sensitivity. I started them just to pacify my mother. I had no idea they were going to work. I didn't know they were going to help. I can't even tell you why. I, I, I just, it had to be a God thing. It had to totally be just a God connection for me because like I said, I didn't know stuff. And while this is happening and I'm reverse engineering things, when it works for me and then I move forward in my journey and I'll get to the HRT because it's all connected. I have so much doubt inside of me as I'm doing this thinking, well, I'm a fluke. I'm a total fluke. This won't happen for anybody else. Okay. This is my number one conversation in my head. This is just me. At the exact same time, I'm having this, the same thing happen when I'm taking adaptogenic herbs. And I was given adaptogenic herbs by somebody, by a friend of mine, um, who I'm still connected with. And she had said, you know, here, you're having a hard time multitasking, take this. And I'm like, sure, yeah, okay. Well, all of a sudden, like, my mind woke up, and I was able to multitask, and I was able to function, and I had energy. So any of the exhaustion that you're feeling, if you need a mind brightener, if you need a mood brightener, if you need to crush your fatigue, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So I start the trio over here for my sugars. And at the exact same time, I start this adaptogenic herb blend, which ends up turning into its own trio. That's the purple packet that I talk about. I literally have no understanding of why these are working. I'm just enjoying the benefits. So back to the conversation in my head. This is a fluke. This is just you. This isn't going to help anybody else. This is just what it is. Well, what happens is I end up going into shoulder surgery. I've mentioned this before, but just to stay cohesive in my conversation, I end up having so shoulder surgery when I'm 50 for a rotator cuff tear because I was in a car accident. 
I have it fixed. It freezes on me. I stop taking my supplements. I'm like, all I want are my narcotics because it's frozen. I don't know it, but the pain is excruciating. And all of a sudden, 90 days after I had my surgery, 90 days, I all of a sudden start having warm feelings in my body. Now you have to understand, I'd never had a hot flash to that point. Okay. So I've never had a hot flash. I don't know what it feels like. And I can only assume, well, this is an odd fluctuation. I'm like, this must be the beginning of a hot flash. And again, another God moment in my life because poster child of, of, not living a life that has any connections to supplements or eating whole food. Okay. So I all of a sudden go, I think that that adaptogenic herb stuff that I've been taking, and I don't even think, I didn't even know the name adaptogenic. So I'm making myself sound like I knew. No, I'm like, I think that's that, that herb stuff is like helping me. Like it's keeping me from having hot flashes. Now that's a God thought. That was not a Kirsten thought. Let's just be honest. And so I'm like, oh man, I'm going to get back on that. I get back on my herbal blend. Now this is the purple packet that I'm talking about. So don't, don't think I'm talking about something third party, like a different thing. So I start, I get back on that. Those warm feelings go away. I'm now 59 and I've never had a hot flash. Now in between surgery, narcotics, <laughs> warm feelings and 59, in between there, what I did do was I reverse engineered why did that work? I studied how adaptogenic herbs, and, and, and I had been told that how I go through menopause is how I treat my adrenals. But you know, that kind of went into my head for sure, but I didn't know what an adrenal was. <laughs> so you know, you can be told anything, and it doesn't necessarily matter if you don't know anatomy at all. So I am like, oh, these are supporting my adrenals. That's right. Like I was told that, oh my gosh, I'm like, this is good and blah, blah, blah. Your adrenals sit on top of your kidneys and they balance your hormones and your neurotransmitters, you know, like your dopamine, your serotonin, your feel good hormones, your sex hormones, your insulin sugar hormone, your cortisol stress hormone. So we're talking about all of the hormones. Okay. So these are all connected. Don't separate these things out and think that you have a million problems because that's not true. Now, again, me, this is just me. This is a fluke. This isn't for anybody else. This is just my story. And for years I did nothing. Okay. So let's see, it's 2024 and I'm 59 so I would have been 54 in 2019. So it took me a good solid four years to even talk about that um, online. I was sharing stuff behind the scenes, but online I finally started to create content around menopause and adaptogenic herbs and the purple packet, which... I've helped a lot of women with this now. So um, it took me a long time. And then it took me an even longer time to begin to talk about insulin resistance, which was the other side of my story and the trio. And the reason why is because I'm not type two. And I thought maybe I had to be type two to really talk about things. But then I, number one, understood the connection between insulin resistance and menopause imbalances, like hormonal imbalances in general. And number two, I realized that the fact that I'm the only one that avoided type two in my entire family, my immediate family, there's a, but, you know, there's a lot in my Italian family, but I can't speak for everybody in my Italian family. But the fact that I'm the only one that avoided it and I started with targeted supplementation and now I've helped other people do the same thing. Um, that is my story. So I feel like I just had a lot of doubt, a lot of doubt. I don't know why, and I don't know what that means, but that's okay. And so I just know that if I match it, it goes away. It's a really weird thing on Instagram. I know Carol God is so good. I'm telling you what, um, I feel like I had set, 
like inside of my heart, when I was in my upper 30s, I saw a lot of women going through menopause and they were crazy. They were about 10 years my senior and they were crazy ladies. And I remember having a very specific thought like in my head. And remember, your thoughts are really, really important and your words are really, really important. So I didn't know it at the time, but my thought was, oh my gosh, I am not going to be like that. I'm going to figure something out. I have no idea what I'm going to figure out, but I'm going to figure something out. So the first thing that I did was I purchased, I saw an ad for a Suzanne Summers book. I'm too young for this. And it was her book on hormones. Does anybody know that book? Does anybody know that one? Christy says, menopause and menopause needs to be discussed more. You feel like uh, gynecologists and primary doctors don't even discuss what's to come or what to expect. No, they don't. It's like it hits us out of nowhere and we don't know what to think or do. So you do, Carol. Yes. So Suzanne Summers, she had all of this information on hormones and, and everything else um, because she was a cancer survivor, a breast cancer survivor. So she did all of her own research. So anyway, so I see this ad, I don't even know, maybe it was on QVC or something all these years ago. And I bought the book. I'm like, Oh, that's a connection to what my, I was thinking about how I'm not going to be this crazy lady. So I bought the book and then I never read it, <laughs> but I literally put it on my shelf because I thought I'm going to, I'm going to keep this book and I'm going to look at it when I need it. Isn't that a funny, like, like, why did I do that? But that again, and it is such a good book. I don't know. I've read it. So it's so good. And after, and after my past menopause, af, and after your past menopause, doctors don't care about us seniors. Mm, it's such a stinker conversation, isn't it? Yeah, Chris, I hear you. So I basically then I put something in my arsenal, right, to read later down the road. Um, but I did kind of have this intention inside of me, like, I'm going to figure this out. That's not going to be me. And I just don't know what I'm going to do. That was that. And that's how these like God answers then ended up coming to me because right when I needed stuff, I swear God like gave me an idea or, and this is still how I, very much how things happen in my life. Like an idea will come to me and I'm either going to pay attention or I'm not like, that's really how this goes. And so, um, anyway, let's rein this back in, in for just a second here so that you guys can get a fullness to this conversation. So now, all these years later, I actually did get online and start creating content around menopause. I actually did begin to um, have many, many, many Zoom consultations and DMs and texts and phone calls with many women about um, perimenopause, menopause, and using adaptogenic herbs instead of um, HRT and and instead of just being crazy and thinking that this is all there was to life. And so I'm just going to tell you some of the most prominent, like um, things that have happened now since then with, with some of the people that I've worked with only because I want you to know that, first of all, I thought that women, this is what I thought. I thought that women who went on HRT, I just never had to, but I didn't understand at the moment why I never did. I just didn't need to because everything was happening with my adaptogenic herbs this blend anyway. And they, um, I thought women went on HRT and they loved it. And when I started hearing women say, Oh my, I got to get off of this. I thought, well, I don't understand now. No question. There are going to be women who are like, I am so happy. I'm on HRT. I'm so happy. I'm on, you know, whatever. And I'm not a doctor. I am not a, a hormonal specialist. So I don't know the other side of how wonderful potentially this is for some women. Like, I, I don't know that, right. That hasn't been my world. And so like, I would never tell anybody to, you know, go against something you feel inside of yourself to do. But the ones that I have worked with are either they don't want to go on HRT for whatever reason, or they want to get off of it. And so when it comes to working with adaptogenic herbs, um, I, I tell people two different things and I'm trying to think, did I have this conversation? I have to take a drink. Did I have this conversation with you guys or was it just in my Facebook group? I'm trying to remember. So if you go to my site, kirstenleebelt.com, there's a button that says menopause and gut health. Don't go there yet. Hold on. <laughs> there is... Um, 
there's what I affectionately call the purple packet. And that is three supplements inside of the packet that has three different adaptogenic herbs. And it has all of your B vitamins that are time released. And a lot of women do not know that their B vitamins, when you're deficient in certain B vitamins, I feel like I have a hair on my cheek, that there can be, that can be a creator of anxiety and depression. So again, filling in nutritional gaps can make such a difference. So I tell women now, um, there are many things that you can do, but my mainstay conversation is let's start with, let's start with adaptogenic herbs to see where we can take you for that. And in my ability to, I, I feel like what I would tell somebody here online is this, and then I'm going to tell you if you need something else, reach out to me and I'm going to tell you why right now. So here the purple packet uh, box would tell you to take one to two a day. I would say absolutely, definitely take one in the morning and one after lunch and be super consistent. The, the front end of what you're going to find is you're going to find mental clarity and you're going to find some energy. Now, dosing, such a technical term, right? Dosing adaptogenic herbs um, in my study of one of them in particular, I did have done a deep dive. Um, it would say to dose up a little bit to help your hormones better. So if somebody takes the purple packet twice a day, which is what it recommends and is saying, um, that is a really great baseline. And then I do have women that come back to me and they say, gosh, I can feel that undergirding, but I need a little extra help. That's when I would say DM me and then we'll chat and I'm going to help you do that. Okay, I'll help you accomplish that. But then on top of that, this is kind of, you have to look at things from many different directions. You know, it's really like, what if you're deficient in vitamin D? You know, the vitamin D, you know, being that hormonal connection as well, it's like, we know that when we're low on vitamin D, that's when we can have a harder, you know, that's when seasonal sadness sets in for women. Well, who needs that on top of menopause, right? You know, what if you're low on, what if you're just not getting enough omegas in your diet? What if you're, you know, um, did you know that, that uh, there are other adaptogenic herbs like holy basil? So like when you look at my, my um, I'm going to look it up right now because I feel like I'm not rightly visioning what I'm talking about for just a second. Um, when you look at on my website, the menopause and gut health, I think is just the purple packet and then maybe probiotic and menopause for hot flashes. I think I'm right on that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there is another button that talks about other things for insulin resistance because insulin resistance, I've got information as to why, but it's the same thing. They're, these are all interconnected is what I'm trying to say. You know, like don't forget about some of the basics. And the zinc that's there, which is great for your immunity, whatever, but it's mixed with holy basil and holy basil is another adaptogenic herb. So don't, don't skimp on this season for yourself to do the things that you need to do so that you can feel like a normal person. Don't do that because you've waited for these years, just like I did. Yeah, you've got to be your own advocate. Oh, Christy, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, hey, no, oh, no problem. So the purple packet is literally three supplements that are inside of one little convenient packet. But it's a mixture of adaptogenic herbs and then it's all of your 8B vitamins time released. And it's what I started with 13 years ago, not knowing that that was going to not just help me with my brain fog and my energy and my moodiness, et cetera, but that it was really going to support my adrenals and help balance out my hormones. Um, but I, and I, and I feel like I have the exact same conversation with insulin resistance with insulin resistance. What I would tell you, like in the Facebook group, and you can go to the, uh, the website is kirstenleebelt.com. And at the top of the Instagram page, there's a link. And so you can look at it, menopause, gut health button, but with insulin resistance, which is the Facebook group, I tell people like, give yourself time, like, your body needs to heal. Now, in menopause, you're really not healing, but you are wanting to support because when your ovaries stop producing, your adrenals are the backup. 
So let's give your body, let's give your adrenals time to rev back up, to, to really do what they need to do. Like when you are in perimenopause, menopause, you know, like be really kind to yourself. Super high intensity workouts, that's probably not for you. Now I'm speaking super general, right? Like if you're a marathon runner, God bless you. That was never me. But for the most part, the study that I've done has just said like, we need to change the way we're working out. We need to really prioritize sleep more than ever. Like our bodies need to simmer down. Like cortisol is out of control and that's creating belly fat and we're insulin resistant and that's creating the other part of the belly fat. And then the insulin that's high is messing with all the other hormones. And then we're just this hot mess express, or at least that's where I was, a total hot mess express. And we just feel like we should still be running 60 miles an hour every single day, like just you know, we're just going to take care of everybody but ourselves. We're going to, you know, follow every marketing, you know, whatever has been told to us about how to eat or how to work out or how to, you know, um, you know, you can bring home the bacon and fry it up in a pan and you can do it all and you should be it all and you should take care of everybody. And then you go from that season potentially into taking care of your parents, like, stop. I'm going to tell you, stop. Like you need to just sit down for a second and really think about this. What if you could reclaim right now? What if you could begin to reclaim your own mental capacity, your own energy, your own ability to function, your own ability to sleep, and it is sometimes a little mountainous because you do have to, it feels that way. But I can guarantee you that when you start to bring these pieces together, I would say that the trifecta, if I was going to tell somebody, what's the trifecta? What if, what do I wish I would have implemented in my forties that I implemented over time? I would say the trifecta is when you're talking about adaptogenic herbs and you're mixing in like what we talk about with the trio when it comes to, you know, nail your insulin resistance, nail the support of your adrenals. And then at the very, the other part of the point of the triangle is the food. Because what you are eating is either number one, messing up your gut. Number two, making your insulin resistance worse. Number three, like creating more brain fog, more hormonal imbalance. Like we have to go back, go back. We have to turn around a few things, but that's why I tell people not only is like insulin resistance and, and all of these things reversible, but it's really not as hard as you think it is. Yes, it takes brain space. That's probably the hardest piece, right? But that's why I teach food the way that I do, because I feel like coming from an Italian background, I can say to somebody, listen, if I can do this, so can you. Like you can begin to, um, you can change out your, the ingredients to the foods that you already love and keep eating the foods that you already love just with different ingredients. And that's why Maria Emmerich has been such a gift to me because her creativity in the kitchen helped me to make. And if you're already in the Facebook group, go up to the guides and look at the videos the, the videos of food that I've done. She taught me how to make that keto lasagna. She taught me how to make that sugar-free chocolate pudding. You know, those creative ideas of how to make high protein, amazing trade outs and enjoy your food. So Christy says that she did um, intense workouts literally here. Oh, I can touch this. <sighs> Look at how I can do that. Um, I did intense workouts literally every single day for two straight years, even while on vacation and couldn't lose weight. I knew something wasn't right. It just didn't make sense. Yep. Isn't that something? How do I get that off there now? Hold on. There we go. That's so cool. Does she have a book? Do you mean uh, Maria Emmerich, Chris? I think maybe that's who you're referencing. And I think I'm missing stuff over here on Instagram. Maybe not. 
Marie Emmerich has many cookbooks. Uh, okay, if I did answer that. Yes. So yeah. So Maria Emmerich, um, she's a keto educator and she started to, to, uh, work with and study keto, um, because she was diagnosed at a really young age with like, you know, irritable bowel syndrome and PCOS, et cetera. And her clue was, um, when she took her dog to the vet and the vet said, what are you feeding your dog? And she said, why is nobody asked me this question? Why do, why do they ask this about my animal, but not about me? So she studied food and she became the, an educator. So she does, she has um, a book that I've used a lot in um, uh, coaching, uh, consulting with women over their food. Um, and she has a lot of cookbooks. She also has a lot of free recipes, a lot of free recipes. So um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about that. I have really appreciated her, her trade outs and her help with that a lot. And, and it is, the, there is a well-rounded, I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, just so I don't forget to mention um, another thing that you can do for menopause and any anxiety, if you're still on here listening, um, find yourself a good glycinate. So the line that I have does not have a good glycinate right now. So um this is what I'm trying out right now. This I actually ordered off of walmart.com, but it's not a Walmart product. So let's see, what is it called? It's a nutraceutical Meggenin. I don't know, but it has, it's a, it's a, it's a blend. And this is the reason I'll tell you, I'll show it to you. And then I'll tell you the reason why I'm trying this one. So what I'm doing is um, I had a glycinate in my line. I absolutely adored it. It went away. So I am now on a search for a good one because I want to be able to, to test them. And then I want to be able to tell you what is a good one. Because if you could take a good glycinate at night, not only is it helping you to kind of calm and go into sleep, you know, nicely, but it's also helping with that, that anxiety. And that's a big piece when it comes to the adaptogenic herbs. It helps that underlying anxiety and the sadness. I'm just telling you, give yourself the gift of time and consistency of taking something like the purple packet. And you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if that's backwards or forwards. Here, I'll show that to you. And like I said, I just got this off of walmart.com. But this is, I'm going to tell you why I chose this one. Because it's not just a glycinate, and then it has a citrate and a taurate. So it has a, it has a blend of magnesium. Um, citrate is always helpful for like, you know, if you um, are having any constipation, it's, you know, a, a citrate helps just to keep you more regular, right? Um, but glycate, citrate, taurate, but then it has L-theanine and L-theanine is um, an amino that's nice and kind of takes you down a couple notches. And then apigenin, which I didn't really know much about that, but apparently that can also help with um, uh, like hormonal stuff. So I thought, okay, I kind of like to find these blends to see what I think. And I'm so I just started like two nights ago. So I don't have a I don't have anything for you on it yet. But find yourself a good glycinate blend and add that to your universe. That is also very helpful because I'm telling you this stuff is no joke. But it's all connected. So don't be so discouraged thinking, oh, man, like I've got all of these pieces. It's not it's one piece. It's one piece, in my opinion. My layman opinion, it's one piece. It's not over here. I've got, you know, memory issues. Do, you know, do I, am I getting dementia? And then over here, I have these, these anger issues or mood issues or, um, you know, uh, like, like, I just feel like I'm, I'm not myself. And then over here I have, um, gosh, all of a sudden I'm having anxiety. I need to deal with that. So then what happens is you try to piecemeal, right? Oh, and then over here, I've got belly fat. Oh my gosh, like the belly fat and the back fat and the, you know, I'm, I'm just, all of these things are happening to me all at the same time. What do I do? These are not all different. <laughs> it sounds like you right now. <laughs> I understand. I do. I do. I do. I do. This is why I can talk about it. I understand. But these are all not separate issues that all need a different med. That's what I'm really trying to get to. No, 
Not necessarily. I have to be careful because I don't mean to, you know, I, you guys have got to do what you've got to do, right? You got to assess yourself. But the truth is, is that what if they are not, let me, I'm going to answer that in just a second. You're asking the question if those two are the same thing. Hold on just a second. Um, what happens though, is that they get piecemealed out. Everything gets put into silos of conversation when it comes to maybe speaking into, you know, like if you're in the medical matrix, right? Because they're going to give you maybe an anti-sadness and then they're going to give you, you know, um, uh, maybe you'll even get put on, I can't say the name of it, um, but it starts with MET, M-E-T. Maybe you'll get put on that for your, um, you know, your weight or for your, uh, like if you've got some borderline sugar stuff going on. And then over in the silo, let's see, what would that silo be? You know, um, well, it just depends on what you've got going on. If you've got other things going on with maybe some, you know, high blood pressure and stuff like that. So you begin to get put on these like, like little assembly lines of, you know, meds trying to like, let's put out this fire and then let's put out this fire and then let's put out this fire and then let's put. Mm. So I have an opinion of that, right? So basically, um, Lori, I know, I know so much anger and you're not an angry person. Yep. And it, you guys, so this is why I say like, do this process when, whether you're talking to me about anything like menopause or insulin resistance, did you know you can do this without any shame? Like you can walk this process and realize that sometimes things are, um, yeah, I know. And then you get the side effects. I know that's the, that's the issue, the buffet and then the side effects, but there are certain things that are happening because of imbalances. So let's get ourselves back into balance again with certain things. That's the whole thing. So the question was, is the trio and the purple packet the same thing or are they different? They are two different conversations. So the purple packet is a packet that has three supplements inside, three adaptogenic herbs, and then all of your eight B vitamins time released. That's the purple packet. Take one in the morning and take one after lunch. Even if you're like, listen, I'm not that great of a supplement person. I just don't even know if I could do that. Do it Monday through Friday when you're at work. Let's pretend you're a Monday through Friday worker. Do it Monday through Friday when you're at work and take the weekends off. At least try that. Try start there. Um, because then what you're going to notice is you're going to notice your work place being um, like, you're going to have more mental clarity. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have more stamina. Um, you know, you're going to feel these things. And then at the same time, what's happening is it's coming under and it's supporting your adrenals. Okay. You don't even know that that's happening yet. So if you do that, then you're going to want to look at taking, grab two boxes for the month. Okay. Always make sure to register with your name, by the way, if you're brand new, most of you, I think are already my customers. Um, but Register with your name because that is, um, then you can get points for your products. Like don't miss out on the points for your products, et cetera. Like don't miss out on stuff like that. That's cash off of future orders. Um, but if you're like, you know what? Oh, I just really have got to get a handle on this. Then consider seven days a week. That's fine, right? But then you're just going to want to look at grabbing three boxes for the month. And you know what? Everything has a six month guarantee. So I always tell people like, just, Give yourself the gift of some consistency for a while and see what happens. Let me see what that says. It's so crazy listening. So many of us experiencing the same symptoms. We are not crazy women. No, we're not. We just need to get our hormones balanced. And Kirsten has just the supplements to help heal our bodies. Christy, you're amazing. I did not read that before I put that up there. Thank you, Christy. You're freaking amazing. You're amazing. It's just, you know what, again, these are my accidental reverse engineering of what has happened to me. And I am just a product of exactly what I'm talking about. I've been doing it for 13 years and I'm still doing it today. I have learned how to, me who was so disconnected from my body, I was so disconnected. I could not have told you if I Somebody can, somebody's able to tell me, okay, I never did tell you these things. So somebody's able to tell me, I can feel my blood sugar is coming down. I'm like, well, God bless you, because I would have never, I had no connection to my body like that. Then somebody else will say to me, 
Wow. That purple packet. Now this is very specific and this was told to me only once and it's either because it only happened one time or because only one person was willing to admit it. <laughs> because for her, it increased her libido. And she said that um, um, sensations during intimacy were heightened. Because again, we're talking about hormonal, like getting things to really start working again. Okay, so it's in all areas. It's not just in the insulin or the cortisol or, you know, the neurotransmitters, you know, your feel good hormones or, you know, your sex hormones. It's all of these different pieces, right? Um, I've, I've had somebody tell me that um, they were really happy because their testosterone went up. And according to her blood test, that's what she needed. I've had somebody tell me that their um, high blood pressure went down. And I'm going to assume as a lay person that that had to do with her cortisol coming into alignment. Um, I've had somebody say to me, they thought they had dementia and they're so happy that they now know that they don't. They just had that, their brain fog was just that out of control. I've had somebody tell me that they, um, this was, she didn't even know about the trio at all. She was only doing this and um, this is not normal necessarily, but I'm just, it's, it's an insulin conversation because uh, she said, oh, she lost, she lost her last four pounds. And I remember this one because I thought I've never, ever in all of my life only had four pounds to lose. Way to go. That's what I thought, but I was happy because that was her insulin piece, right? And so that it helped her in that. Um, and then I've also had somebody tell me that they stopped taking um, something that uh, it starts with add, like you add up numbers and then it ends with all, like all of us. And she stopped taking that because this was helping her with um, symptoms of her ADD and um, she despised the side effects over here of the, the um, just the constant crashing. And she hated this feeling of, you know, whoa, boom. And there was, and of course I have no idea what that is because I've never experienced that. I don't know um, that met at all, but I'm just saying that that's how, um, that's how that goes. So you guys are talking about taking something on an empty stomach. I take a lot on an empty stomach. So Carol, I can't read it because it puts it behind that. Let me just see here. Uh, can you take the purple packet on empty stomach? Yes, Carol, you can. I do ev almost every morning. I do because I wake up in the morning and my first step. And so there are some things that you don't want to do that with, right? Like for instance, vitamin D, you don't want it. Vitamin D is fat soluble. So you want to take that with food. But, um, and then I also take, uh, I personally take, the multivitamin, multimineral and phytonutrient that used to, because it's such a flood, it's such a flood of nutrients that it would make you nauseous. Well, they reformulated and added some peppermint. And so it is better. I am still like, I, I don't take that on an empty stomach. That's just me. But the purple packet, you can. I, I would say, I don't think I've ever had anybody tell me that that made them nauseous. But in my head, when I'm going to bed at night, I know that I want to prioritize my sleep. Okay. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to take my magnesium. And for me, and I mentioned this on Sunday, I take my stinky herbs. That's also on the website. It's called Sleep Health. So I take that and I, um, because I'm going to prioritize my sleep and go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to prioritize my function. It's just, it's very important to me that I function. I have things that I want to accomplish. I have people that I want to talk to. I have a business that I'm building. I want to be able to like have energy to be able to go through my day and make decisions and do all of the things. So it is very common for me to take in the morning on an empty stomach because it's literally a part of the like, let's get up and go routine um, as opposed to Maybe somebody would grab coffee right away in the morning. Um, I'm not opposed to coffee. I just don't really drink it in the morning hardly ever. I just, I don't know. It's just a treat for me more than anything. But some people will use caffeine. I'm using the purple packet and there is some green tea in there, but it's not jitter jittery at all. At all. Oh, yes. Make the cinnamon banana bread. Oh, so good. You're making me want to make that right now. 
That is so good, make sure. Make sure I'm not missing any comments here. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any questions about anything that I talked about? Let me know. You're welcome, Carol. Let me know if you have any questions on that. I just really felt like I needed to come on and tell my story and try to, I still feel like I'm not as cohesive as I would like to be in, in trying to get that information across to you. Listen, it's all connected. It's all connected. And you can actually make great strides by just choosing to prioritize a few simple things, you know, and I, I don't have a problem telling people, listen, I know that when you go down to, let's say GNC, you're going to maybe get somebody who's 25 and, and he's a male <laughs> and he might not be able to answer your questions. I've just been doing this for so long now that I understand the benefit of being able to get connected to somebody that you can ask questions. So anytime anybody's one of my customers, or if you have questions even before that, like I'm available, this is what I do, right? So you get me with the transactions, you know, and that's a really important piece of the puzzle. People are looking for connection and being able to actually have conversation. Uh, you're making the bread for the first time this weekend, finally have all the ingredients. Carol, you have to take a picture and send it to me when you do. Um, I'll put it in my stories. I would love to know that you made that. There have been certain things for me that have been a really big game changer. And I would say that that egg white protein bread, um, and by the way, it's uh, there's an eight minute tutorial on my on my website, kirstenleebelt.com. If you wanna go and just watch me, I think that is the banana cinnamon one that was just referenced. Basically, if you can think in terms of deconstructing food, Maria Emmerich teaches you how to make this, this egg white bread that is made with egg white protein powder. So I use the base of that and then I can make that savory or I can make that sweet. And I'm a sweet person normally. So um, I think on that one, like I'm using a banana extract, I'm layering it with cinnamon, whatever. Well, the other day I did it with almond extract and then I used a chocolate mixture. I kind of talk about a lot of the stuff in my stories um, so you can always catch me there. Uh, if you're on my Facebook business page, not those stories, it would be my Instagram stories or my personal Facebook page, but I'll do, because if I'm coming up with a new, like just a thought process or whatever, I'll throw it up in there because I just make things up as I go. Because again, this does not have to be overly complicated. Get a handful of things in your repertoire, change out a few ingredients and begin to like build on that. And it's amazing what you can accomplish by doing that. It really is. It's amazing. So that's very exciting though, Carol. I, I get very excited when people are making the bread because it makes such a difference um, to have something in your repertoire. And again, I, I, I did not know. Okay, Christy, it says to me it's covered and then it says show. So I'm taking a chance. <laughs> Let's see what it says. What are you saying, Christy? We are all... <laughs> I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. We're all glad to get you. You've helped me so much already. You filled in some gaps for me knowledge wise regarding insulin resistance for sure. That's wonderful. You love and thrive on educating yourself and gaining all the knowledge I can on health. And Christy, what do you do for a living? Tell everybody what you do for a living because you know what? That's thank you, Christy. I so appreciate you. I really, really do. Like it. I'm just telling you, I you know, I am no longer, I no longer live with doubt in my head. The doubt is gone because the testimonies have overtaken any doubt. Like I, I can't, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make up stuff that, you know, anyway. So I'll leave you here too with one. I'm going to, I'm constantly, if, if you guys knew how often you're a labor and delivery nurse for 19 years. God bless you. This is why your cortisol needs to come into alignment, Christy. I love it so much. Oh, my daughter's getting ready to deliver. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but on behalf of all of my customers, I'm not kidding you. If I tell you that I check my website about 100 times a day, just so that I can see if the glucose health is back in stock. If you are, If you live in Canada, do you live in Canada? Put Canada in the comments below. Yes. If you live in Canada, let me know. I would love to know. 
Um, the glucose health is one of happy grandma. I know I'm so happy. Um, glucose health is one of the products that is a part of the trio. It's only one of the three and it happens to be out of stock in a portion of the United States. It's sold out. Shelly's from Canada. Okay. Well, Canada is a blessed nation because, okay, the, it's not out of stock in Canada. It's not out of stock. So you guys actually have it. And so does, uh, if you live in California, my California customers are able to get the full trio. My Canadian customers can get the full trio. And um, I have somebody in Wyoming that can get it. And if you go on my website, kirstenliebelt.com, just yesterday, um, I have been used, I, I have been connected to Canadian customers, but just yesterday I got a very specific Canadian link that is now on my website. So just to let you know, um, cause I'm connecting with so many people from Canada. It's really been fun, but I do check my website for the U S all the time because this sold out status has been hard on people. <laughs> it's been hard. So what I am going to tell you is, um, I don't know why that's not opening for me. Um, I will tell you a couple of things. So first of all, if you um, if you want to be uh, an Instagram, you can't put this. I won't. When my live is done, Instagram, your comments will go away. You must DM me if you want to be on my first to know list. OK, but on Facebook, if you want to be on my first to know list, when it is back in stock, when the glucose product is back in stock, put me in the comments. And I will, um, uh, I'll put you down on my list because I'm, I'm, I check the website constantly is what I'm doing. And there's something weird with my, uh, with my iPad here tonight, but I'm going to check the stock. I'm not thinking it's going to, I mean, I checked it literally before I came back on. So before I got on, yeah, it's still not there. Um, so you can put uh, me in the comments below if you want to be on my first to know list. Uh, and what was the other part? Okay, so for those of you where it is out of out of stock, I'm highly recommending put in, it's still out, I know, Carol, put in the search bar or it's on my website, put in the search bar turmeric. And I'm going to tell you why. I think I talked about this on Sunday. So when you have high insulin in your body, you have high inflammation and you've got to get this inflammation down, right? Well, with the glucose product being out of stock just temporarily, that is going to help your inflammation come down. But what they did with this blend, because they are known for their blends, they added fenugreek and fenugreek helps with sugars. So temporarily try that as your third piece of the trio. And, you know, by the time you're through that, you're definitely going to notice how it is working for you to what degree it's working for you. And then you will also be able to like restock on the glucose right? And the glucose product. And again, in Canada, you're still good to go. So it's just what it is. It's just what it is. We just work around things. But if you ever have any questions about that, let me know. Okay. Like DM me or message me. Um, and let me know because I'm keeping my eye on it. Um, over a single day, all day long. because I have a lot of people waiting for it. My list has really quite grown and I am still working on trying to like grab some inventory for myself. So anyway, um, and then the only other thing probably would be, well, no, I don't need to go down that. I can do that for another live. What I will do though on Fridays, I come and I do a live and I talk about the testimonies for the week. So I'll do that again this week because it's amazing to me. I, I take no credit for other people's testimonies. I just can't do that. Right. Um, but I hope that maybe that answered some questions for you and in, in just as an overall conversation and, if you, even after I get off, if you want to come back to the video and ask questions, I'll take them into consideration for like doing another live. Like here now we crossed over and we talked about, you know, the connection between menopause and insulin resistance. And we can, if I tell you, talk to you about both of them without even separating them out in conversation, you know that they're all connected. You know it inside of yourself because you're living it. You're living the belly fat with the brain fog, with, you know, maybe the anger or the sadness or the anxiety. You're, it's all. And so I'm just saying, you know, um, maybe we can change the way that your life is feeling. You know, I was able to um, 
be on a playground tonight with my grandbabies and, you know, run around and I don't ache. And I know that that is due to eating grain free, sugar free. Well, that's what I teach in the Facebook group. I know why things work inside of my body and I know how they make me function. And I don't feel like I'm, you know, I don't ask that question anymore. What's wrong with me? I don't, I'm not, if I am foggy, I'm like, what's going on? Because I've learned how to have a consistent routine so that I live, so that I'm proactive to that, you know, and that whole connection between, and maybe that is another conversation we'll have insulin resistance, the, the type three diabetes, the connection between insulin resistance and um, uh, insulin resistance of the brain type three diabetes, because this is a crime that we are not talking about this. And yet everybody has to deal with the fallout, just like we did, of dementia. How sad. And it's hard, it's hard on a family. I should probably talk about that sometime. Because again, that's happening on in mass. And so there are a lot of people that I know now every day. Now it's common. Like, do you remember? If you guys are like around my age, most of you are. Do you remember you never heard of anybody that ever had the C word? You never heard that. Like it was very rare to hear anybody have, you know, you were like, what? Wow. Now, don't you just know like everybody? Like, don't you just hear it all the time? Oh, they have, they have that too. Oh, okay. And I'm not talking about Rona, but you know what I'm saying, right? So that happens all the time. Well, it's the same thing now. It used to be my grandma, my mom's mom, 97, playing Scrabble. Dies because she had a fall, not because of old age. <laughs> like she would have lived to be 120, convinced of it. Um, but now, don't you just know a lot of people, and it might even be you, that are dealing with parents with dementia? Excuse me, super common. You kind of almost feel like it's everywhere and they're building another, you know, on every off ramp, they're building another assisted living nursing home. What's going on? Well, what if it was, what if a major factor was insulin resistance and we're not even being taught that? How does that make us feel as a society? So I feel like maybe that's something that we'll have to talk about. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? So anyway, so if you have any questions on that, let me know. But again, so fun to come and chat with you guys and find out what you guys are doing. And uh, Carol, send me a picture of that bread when you uh, get that done. I'd love to know. And if anybody has any questions about anything that I talked about tonight, like the purple packet or any of the other you know, pieces of supplementation, just message me. I'm going to literally jump off and I've got some PDFs to send to a bunch of people. Um, I've got, I've got stuff to send out and people to answer. So um, I will be up answering some questions anyway. So I'd be more than happy to help you figure things out. And uh, <laughs> Carol says yes. And uh, yeah. So I'll see you on Friday. And we'll have some testimonies from the week. And uh, I'm excited about that. So have a super blessed night, you guys. And I will talk to you very, very soon. See you later, Instagram. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for joining. How fun was that? That was really good.